the, the Dolby Canyon. This is so cool. This is probably the nicest day yet. It just keeps getting better here. <laughs> it's insane. So we're headed to Dolby Forest. We've got the van loaded up and uh, we're gonna meet up with some patrons. This is awesome. People that dig the channel, that support the channel, that make the channel actually happen. And uh, guys from the UK that I probably never met. One of the great finds of the trip so far are these Mr. Tom peanut bars. I love them. I'm addicted. I've also had some other fantastic UK cuisine. I had a scotch egg. I've had a couple of them. It's like a hard boiled egg that's covered in some kind of meat. I, I don't know, it's just really good. And then black pudding, which is just basically blood, but it's really good. So, so far so good, I'm digging it. I didn't get the opportunity to have the haggis in Scotland, but maybe someday. Sweet, we have arrived to the Dalby Forest. So the mastermind and ringleader behind the trip is Guy Kestevin. I just asked him to you know, been, I'm going here for two weeks. I asked him to pick the most fun stuff. And, uh, and this is Sean from the Fruta Chasing Epic Trip. Good to see you again, nice man. Good to see you again, you all right? Yeah, so I'm getting all ready here and we'll, we'll get, yes, I actually changed glasses. It's just in case you noticed. Excuse me. So Guy is the man of a thousand bikes and today I'm, I'm switching it up. I'm getting on his giant rain that he's been on the past couple days. And uh, let's make sure the brakes are swapped out here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so Guy is taking a ride on the Yeti SB100. This thing is uh, already muddy and dirty even though this is the first he's got his hands on it. That's how it goes with the media test bikes. I think they get <laughs> passed around. Then I just had a, a little hop on Sean's Niner here and slashed open my shin horribly and it hurts like hell. Flats, no more flats. <laughs> flats in the car park. And Jason's on this strange bike over here. Look at this thing. No eagle gear. Oh, it's actually an orange. Okay. The orange strange. Very strange. 10 years old. Nice. It was the prototype for the Alpine, what became the orange Alpine. Huh. So did you get it on I, eBay or what? Uh, one of my friends did. It started off as um, a hire bike out in the Alps. And I think they made 23 of them. And then it came back and it went through a few people. My friend picked it up and then he's just the king of buying things on eBay and then gets bored a week later and buys something else. <laughs> so yeah, got it off him. It's been lovely. Well, the weather's pretty much perfect. <laughs> it's amazing. Guy was even thinking about taking his dog, but he thinks it's too hot. <laughs> it's not over 70 degrees, but <laughs> it's still too hot for the dog. I've never seen so many families out riding. This is pretty neat. Okay, guy's leading the way. Rolling out. Just more perfect scenery. Whoa, a lot of pop in this. Okay, <laughs> first little bit. Hell yeah. Oh, what gear am I in? What the hell? <laughs> that was a wicked line there, guy. Jason is taking, taking on the world of my, mountain biking without a dropper post. He's a, a saint or maybe a lunatic. <laughs> Just an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> so most of the guys in the comments section are always bagging on trail centers. <laughs> like they don't actually like them. This setup where it's kind of manufactured and less wild and raw. But Guy was telling me it's about the only guaranteed riding you could get. I don't know about this particular place, but most of them, they're not closing down. <laughs> in the wet or the winter they're they're keeping everything going whereas maybe some of the more rugged riding you're just you're out of luck cool finding it quite easy to get the wheels off the ground on this thing probably way too much air pressure <laughs> in the shock we just passed a couple of Englishmen on the climb. Probably gonna suffer from heat stroke here. <laughs> it's passed into 71 or so degrees. <laughs> just not used to it. It's so true though. Like you can't, you cannot be like, oh, it's only 71 degrees. Like, these guys live at 55 degrees all year long. <laughs> your, your body really does get used to a certain stability. When that gets thrown out of whack, <laughs> it hurts. 
but it's great to poke fun at. I'm not above talking some shit. This gash on my ankle is gonna be a pain in my ass. It stopped hurting a little bit, but uh, I don't wanna get stitches. This is cool. So like I said, Sean was one of the guys on my Chasing Epic Fruta trip. And uh, a bunch of those guys are booked for the next Chasing Epic trip in Crested Butte. But then a bunch of them got on an email thread and now they're going to Kingdom Trails in Vermont. It's super cool that some, some little spark like that, some little connection can get stuff rolling just from watching my videos. It's so powerful. That's why I'm so grateful for you guys making this possible. I think it always kind of starts out as a more of a selfish endeavor, you know? I'm gonna try to make these videos. I'm gonna, you know, try to build an audience and try to make enough money to live. And then when you see how it affects other people and it connects other people, it's magical. I've said it every single video and you guys are probably tired of it now, but I'm so lucky that the weather is so nice. Yes, I can ride in the wet, but I'm not going to get any kind of filming in the wet. It just doesn't work the same. Even if I had the best waterproof camera set up, it still would just drive me fucking insane. I'll let someone else be the guy who rides the wettest trails in the world. I'll ride the best trails in the world. Now this is right. Think this is only venomous snake. snake. <laughs> I've oh, got to check oh. this out. <laughs> oh, he's down for the count. Looks like my shin. Oh, Au revoir. That's, that's done, isn't it? Spot a snake at Dalby? Maybe I'll spot a wild boar at the Forest of Dean. Whoa! <laughs> So my directive for Guy on this trip has just been find me the fun stuff and he's been nailing it. He has been straight up nailing it. He's been doing bike reviews for more than 20 years. Mountain bike reviews. He's got a YouTube channel as well. I've been linking it every day in these videos, but in case you missed it, go check it out. He's the one to ask about the, <laughs> the giant rain. Bombard him with your questions. And uh, he's a sick rider too, so he, he knows what he's talking about. This is so cool. Caught my eye. <laughs> Not gonna pass it up. As I talk about the majestic forest, can't let a rapper ruin the view. There's England, there's Great Britain, there's the United Kingdom. Is there anything else you guys want to call yourselves? Yorkshire. Yorkshire. England obviously is the country, but then Great Britain and UK are like... Great it's Britain is all the all British all Isles, so includes Southern Ireland. I think, doesn't it? Or is that the British Isles includes right. Southern oh, Ireland? Yeah, that makes sense, because then, because the United Kingdom wouldn't include Ireland. Yeah. There you go. Okay, as long as you guys are just as confused as me. <laughs> This is cool. I can work those turns, get some body movement going. Rocking the trail. Whoa, <laughs> get caught out on some bad roots. <laughs> Guy just smoothly took that on. I hit the panic switch. Guy's got the legs. Eventually I just resigned myself, get my own pace. <laughs> Man, this bike gets up in the air so easily. World Cup route. I was telling Guy that route and route are interchangeable, at least in my, my uh, <laughs> lexicon. 
Sometimes I say route, sometimes I say route. I was also chatting with guys' daughters and they, they could not get over that we call pancakes flapjacks because their flapjacks are at granola bars. <laughs> that was like, they were really, really disappointed in me. <laughs> One of the other good ones is like a turnout on the highway. It's called the lay-by. <laughs> Oh, wow, you did that one way better than me. <laughs> good thing there was nothing on the other side. You're good. <laughs> Gotta give those cross country guys a little more credit. Oh, <laughs> hard right. Oh, into the, wow. <laughs> the Dolby Canyon. This is so cool. This really is exactly like some parts of California. <laughs> It is uncanny. Cool. Definite newfound respect for Cross Country XC. Cool. Just another perfect day in the Queen's Kingdom. The sun never sets on the BKXC Empire. The, the second I hit the airplane is when the rain will come back. Okay, it's a bit overgrown. I just put my glasses away because they were rubbing on my nose over the past few days. It's starting to get like a little rash or something. Whoa, this is cool. Yeah. This is unreal, that green just pushing right up against the trail, trying to take it over. Don't let it. God damn! <laughs> I hit both sides. <laughs> In the wet? I can't imagine. That was insane. That was nice. <laughs> it's a funny thing now with my glasses. They're either falling off my nose or rubbing my nose raw. I can't win. I'm gonna wear dual monocles. Just squint. Guy just suggested enduro goggles. That might be the next step. Oh, the seat is killing me. The sound. Amplified 10 times in the video. No pedaling allowed. Oh, I got over it. As crowded as the car park was and all the people we saw at the beginning, that was about it. <laughs> We've seen a few people out. Get out on the red trails and even on pretty much the most perfect day on a weekend, it's not crowded at all. Of course, felt like I wanted to really pin it. <laughs> and I worked myself into a jam. <laughs> One of the other cool things about a lot of the trail centers, they've got that orange escape arrow. So it's like, okay, I'm done. I just need to get back. It tells you where to get back to. Hope you guys on Patreon 
are enjoying the extended cut. Too bad I missed you out here. Hopefully you UK guys are, were able to go to the second Patreon meetup, which will be next weekend, Forest of Dean. And if you're watching this, it's, it's been weeks, so not, not next weekend you watching this. Next weekend that's already happened probably. <laughs> Thanks for making it happen. Thanks for making it possible for me to buy the plane tickets, meet amazing people, and get out on these rides and show you guys that there's some amazing trails out there if you just go looking for them. That's really one of the best parts about having a community is getting so many awesome suggestions of places where to go, what's good. You know, by the 10th time someone mentioned Blue Derby in Tasmania, I was like, okay, it must be legit. Let's go check it out. So keep the suggestions coming. Oh. Should have shaved my legs for this. <laughs> Hero dirt. Cool, this is it, this is the finish. Got my phone in my left pocket. Will surely be destroyed here. This is what I imagine Rotorua, New Zealand looking like. They've packed them in at the car park. I don't say parking lot anymore. <laughs> Takes too many syllables. 23.4 miles. Really? We've got our apres bike. We got a popsicle. We got a sandwich. Coke and chips. Crisp sandwich. Crisps. <laughs> Guy just arrived. He was out in the woodwork. Fettling about on the camera. <laughs> that was another solid victory. Fantastic. 24 miles, holy crap. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Jason. No problem. Making it, making it a fun time. So now I think we'll, we're gonna beat the traffic because there's a shitload of people out here. <laughs> we're gonna get back and then get something to eat and continue on. I don't, who knows what we're gonna do tomorrow? That's the great part about this. It's a never ending surprise. So thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you on the trail.